Edgar Allan Poe An alien presence in the first generation of professional American authors Edgar Allan Poe has fascinated generations of readers around the world while perplexing scholars From the outset he overturned expectations and flouted conventions Poe aimed to achieve celebrity by shocking the public to be appreciated you must be read he insisted justifying his tactics while magazines and gift books pervade sentimentalized images of death he conjured subversive scene of dissolution dismemberment and decomposition his poems and tales defined a twilight zone of primal anxiety and endless melancholy Pauls's paradoxical trafficking in corporeality and spirituality in vulgarity and sublimity in banal humor and mortal seriousness may have something to do with his wide appeal as well as his resistance to facile categorization His compulsion to astonish or perplex led him to overturn familiar assumptions as when his detective C Auguste Dupin observes truth is not always in a well in fact as regards the more important knowledge i do believe that she is invariably superficial reversing the conventional logic of surface death relations ho suggests that the deepest truths are neither remote nor esoteric but instead obscured only by their immediacy he wanted his skill as a cryptographer and celebrated mental analysis in tales of ratiocination yet he also parodied the investigative impulse and in his early novel the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym caricatured scientific observation as self delusion his stories represent characters who survive hangings beheadings and premature burials Poe famously declared the death of a beautiful woman to be the most poetical topic in the world yet in several tales he made her demise the horrifying soul of the plot brilliantly inventive yet contrarily at odds with himself Poe sprang from modest origins born in Boston in 1809 he was the son of itinerant stage performers who left him an orphan before his third birthday his father the sordid david poe had abandoned the family and presumably died in norfolk in 1811 just as tuberculosis claimed edgar's mother the english born actress elizabeth arnold poe in richmond in 1815 he sailed with the allens to england where After visiting relatives in Scotland, John Allen opened a London branch of the mercantile firm he owned with Charles Ellis. The boy known as Edgar Allen attended boarding school first with the Mrs. Dubourg in Chelsea. His studies included Latin and French. In 1819, Poe spent two months in Scotland. his travel there and about the english countryside provided those glimpses of ancient castles abbeys country houses and cathedrals that long after his return to america recurred in the dream and memory as the old world of his childhood at 14 poe turned to jane stith stannard the mother of his companion for emotional comfort and understanding later idealizing her in his palm to helen after her sudden derangement 
an untimely death in 1824. He also wrote poems, concocted stories, and covered the walls of his room with charcoal sketches. A classmate described him as excitable and restless, at times wayward, melancholic, and morose. He found a publisher willing to print his little volume, Tamerlane and Other Poems, ascribed to a Bosonian, recasting Oriental legend. The exotic title poem showed the influence of Byron. In late 1829, a Baltimore publisher issued Al Araf, Tamerlane, and Minor Poems attributed to Edgar A. Poe. Sick and discouraged, Poe lingered in New York for several weeks, but finding no work, he returned to Baltimore, residing with his grandmother, his aunt Maria Clem, and her daughter Virginia. Poe also rejoined his older brother Henry, a poet and former sailor then in the last stages of tuberculosis. Poe reinvented himself as a magazinist under depressing circumstances. In January 1832, published his first prose tale, Medzengerstein, and four other stories subsequently appeared in print, perhaps bringing him a few dollars. Published a two-volume edition in 1840, called Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque. A reviewer in Alexander's Weekly Messenger declared that Poe had placed himself in the foremost rank of American writers with his tales. Poe also published a fine new poem of his own, Sonnet to Silence, as well as Peter Pendulum the Businessman. A biting satire perhaps aimed obliquely at Burton, but more obviously targeting American commercial greed. Since December 1843, he had composed A Tale of the Ragged Mountains, The Spectacles, Mesmeric Revelation, The Premature Burial, The Oblong Box, the Purloin Letter, Thou Art the Man, and the System of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather, as well as the Balloon Hawks, and several short pieces. His celebrated poem, The Raven, first appeared in January 1845. The father of detective fiction and the creator of the first fictional detective the eccentric and brilliant C. Auguste Dupin, Edgar Allan Poe died on October 7, 1849 in Washington Hospital. He was buried in Baltimore on October 8.